Okay, so let us answer this question where I said uh, identify all the four inequalities being shown here. How would you do that? The first thing that pick the the simplest ones. Okay. Well, let me call this one my line one. Okay. Let me call this one here my line two. Then let me call this one here my line three. Okay. Then let me call this one here my line four. So we are going to answer them in that order. Okay. So let's start with line one. To start to answer line one, you just have to know that where is this line passing? It's passing through the y-axis. Okay. Since it's passing through the y-axis, at which point? At this point here, point four, which is zero comma four. So you are going to say y e e e equals to four. Now you, you need to ask yourself which one are we looking for? We are looking for the unshaded. The unshaded part is is the one which is down. Okay, not the one which is up. No, we are looking for something which is down. Since we are looking for something which is down, we are saying that, that that thing which is down or those numbers that are down, they are less than what? They are less than four. Now, this line is dotted. This line is what? Dotted. Now, because the line is dotted, what do we use? We use, uh, we just use greater than, uh, less than or greater what? Or greater than. So, here we are going to say, why? Since we are looking for something below and not up, we are going to say, why is it? What? Less than 4. And you are done. Second line, Okay. This one here, where is it passing? It's passing on point 0, 0,1 where y is equal to 1. That's why it's passing. It's passing on y equal to 1. Now we know that y equal to 1 here. What do we do? We are looking, what are we looking for? We are looking for things, that, for, for the part that has been unshaded. This part up here has, be, has not been shaded. The down part has been shaded. We are not looking for the down part. We are looking for the upper part which has not been shaded. Now that other upper part is greater than what or equal to one because the line is not dotted when the line is not dotted we use this so we are going to say y is greater than or equal to one because we are looking for the upper part the one which is not shaded i hope you are you are you, you, you are getting the concept from there okay line three Line 3 is this one here. Where is it passing? It's passing through the x-axis at point 5, 5, 0. So this is where we are saying x here is equal to what? 5. That's why it's cutting the x-axis. Now look at the line. It's not dotted. That means we are, we are going to use any of these. But which one specifically are we going to use? Because they have shaded this part, which is above 5. We don't want that, that part which is above 5. We want the part which is below 5 because we are looking for the unshaded. Alright. Here the question is asking us to find the unshaded part. So since we are looking for the unshaded part, take note that you are looking for the one which is not shaded. The one which is below. So here we are saying x is less than or equal to 5. Now the fourth one. How do you find the fourth one? Okay. To find the fourth one, this one, you know that this line is touching the the x or y plane at more than one point. That point, that point, okay, and that point. Now you, you, you are going to pick which points you can easily get. I can easily get this point here. I can also get easily that point there. I can't get this point here because it hasn't been given for me. This point, I don't know what x is here, but I know what x what x and y is here and i know what x y is there so here as, as long as it's in the y axis sorry as long as it's in the x axis y is a zero so we have one comma zero that's the first point okay point two is there we are starting with point x five comma four clearly there right five comma four now from here you find the gradient let's find gradient m equal to y2 minus y1 you are dividing this by x2 minus x1 all right and this will give us what y2 is 4 minus 0 x2 is 5 minus 1 and this will give us 4 you divide by 4 
eventually this will give us 1 as a gradient. Then we know how to find the equation of a straight line. Y minus Y1 equal to M, open brackets, X minus X1. This is the equation that we use, right? So Y, Y1 is this one there, 0, equal to M is this one here, 1. X remains the same. X1 is 1 here. Okay? 1. So we are going to have Y equal to 1 times this is just X. 1 times negative 1 is just negative 1. This is 0. Now that we've come up with an equation, remember the equation is asking us to find an equality and not an equation. We are looking for the down part because the down part is what has, hasn't been shaded, right? We don't want this part, the one which is shaded. We want the down part which hasn't been shaded. The fact that I'm saying down, that means it's less than or equal to because the line is not dotted. So this will be y is less than or equal to x minus 1. I think the, you are, this should be very clear now that I've explained as low as I can.